at this dude. Whoosh, poppin' everybody, welcome back to another video. Hey man, if you haven't already done so, make sure you are subscribed to the channel, smash the like button, click that bell while you're at it so you can be a part of the post Noti gang family, best family on YouTube, that snow cap hands down. <laughs> hey man, we are here for a dark man video today, abusive dad forced to go to family therapy. Okay, well, if you abuse your kids, not only do you need to go to therapy, but you need CPS on your case, no cap. Hey man, we're gonna do less talking, more reacting. Let's dive right into this video. Lego. <laughs> Doing this right in front of the grandma too. That's crazy. No, honey, I'm home. trying to ruin the only good part of my day. Sorry, uh, I thought it was on silence. Oh, well, you thought wrong. <sighs> Give me that thing. No. One of two things. Why did you get pregnant again by him? Two, why haven't you left yet? <clears throat> don't. Don't be such a wimp. You know, I don't know where you get this from. Because it's hard to believe that you're my blood. Damn. Great. Are you happy now? Huh? Everyone's mood is ruined. <sighs> you gotta be really ignorant to think that everyone's day was ruined because of your son. You ignorant as hell. Such a disappointment. I'm headed out. It's okay, baby. He's gone. It's over. You're going to be okay. Why don't we continue watching our program? I just want to be alone for a little bit. And one of two things as well. It is normal for couples to argue, fight, even yell. It can get to that point. I know I've been to that point as well. But when it comes to the kids, man... They don't need to be yelled at. The only time I would ever feel like I have to yell at my kid is if you straight up not listening when you're supposed to be listening. You feel me? There's ways of talking to your kids and there's ways to how you talk to your partner. And once again, for me, I'm not the best person when it comes to like getting angry. Sometimes I'll say things when I don't mean it to my partner. You feel me? And that's why I give myself what's called a timeout, some space so I can cool down and then we come back to it the discussion you feel me that's that's just how i am though but it's not perfect but <sighs> we can't go on like this i know i know we can't he's only getting worse something has to change He's only getting more stressed out and looking for somebody to take it out on. A pity. You shouldn't have gotten pregnant again, to be honest. Maybe there's a way that we can get through to him. But I'm gonna need your help. You sure this is a good idea? Trust me, it'll be okay. Someone like him, he wouldn't show up to therapy. Um, I've had a partner that asked me to go into therapy, and I did it. Like, I went to therapy, and, you know, it did its thing for me, but I've already heard it already. Everything that was coming out of his mouth, because I've been to therapy, I've been to counseling, I've done several things in regards of why I am who I am. It doesn't really work for me, because I know why I am who I am, and I work on myself on a daily basis. Some days are better than others, but when it comes to being in a relationship and stuff like that, you got to you got to be patient with me for one. Like you have to be patient. It's hard to put up with me, I'm not going to lie. But if you love me, you going to have patience with me and and then we we grind it out, we work together. I thought that we were going to check on how the baby's doing. Thank you for coming. 
Look, if this is another intervention about my drinking... It's not. And what is this about? It's, um, family therapy. Therapy? You think that I need therapy? I mean, that, that stuff is for cowards, wimps. Please, Mark, just give it a chance. No, no, I am not doing it. All right? And don't, don't waste my time ever again with this stuff. Mark? <sighs> yeah, he, he doesn't seem like the type of person that would go to therapy. Just give me a moment with my son. This will be okay. Mark, stop. Save it, Mom. I don't need therapy. Son, your wife is scared. Don't you see that? That's not you. And she's pregnant. You gotta be there for her. I ain't gonna cap. And once again, I've been in situations as well where, you know, I got some someone pregnant and I couldn't I couldn't be there for them. And it wasn't by choice. But when that person, I guess you could say, released the wall of allowing me to be there, I was able to be there for the birth and everything. You feel me? I did everything I could to help out, you know, like, but doing this to your partner, you might as well leave then put her through that. You feel me? Your son, too. It's not my fault. They need to toughen up. Oh, please. Just give it 10 minutes. Listen to what the doctor says. If you don't like it, you can leave. Please, do it for me. Fine. But 10 minutes. Mark. Mark? Why don't you tell us about your childhood? What about it? Well, uh... That's one of the first things they'll talk about when you go to therapy, is your childhood. And a lot of my trauma came from my childhood that lingers into my life now, as you can say. Have you ever experienced any trauma or issues growing up? No, I'm not a wuss. Hey, what are you writing down there? Huh? I think... Actually, um, Mark had very terrible nightmares when he was younger. Almost every night. You no, know, first of all, I haven't had one of them in a long time, and I wouldn't even remember what it was about anyway, so... Well, you know... He's acting like a child, bro. Like, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to talk about my emotions or feelings, bro. My homie's seen me ball cry, bro. I don't care, bro. You could see me cry, sad, all that. I don't hide my emotions. If I feel something, I'm going to tell you. No, it, like, it might be a good idea to revisit these nightmares. Dreams and nightmares are the subconscious trying to work through unresolved trauma. Why don't you tell us about it? I already told you that I don't have any subconscious trauma. Please, just try to remember. So at least he's trying. That's the, that's the thing about this. He's trying to make it work. It was the same dream. I'd be in bed trying to hide from a monster, like a coward. No matter where I hid, Who or what represented the monster in these nightmares? No one! No one did! It was just a dream, all right? You know, maybe I was just watching too many horror movies or something like that. What are you doing? This was definitely a trigger. Now, you know what? That's it. I'm done. I don't need this. I'm done. I'm done. This whole thing has been a complete waste of time. I know who the monster was. I never told you because I was trying to protect you. But dad. I think now is the time to tell the truth. It's his dad. You see? The dream started when Mark was just 10 years old. Mark's father had a temper. Especially So he's just he's honestly just following his dad's footsteps at this point. That is one of two things you can do. You have a decision if you want to follow your parents' footsteps or if you want to choose a different path. 
for me, I saw what was taking place in the household I was in growing up. I didn't want that. And I, the love that I wanted from my dad, I didn't get that. Now it's a little bit different. I can't give love to my kids the way I want to because of certain circumstances. It could be distance. It could be other legal situations. You feel me? Which I won't talk about or name about. Um, but if I could have the chance to have my kids on a daily basis, I would do it in a heartbeat and show my love on some real bro <laughs> Thought you don't get nightmares anymore, my boy. What happened? that drink the kind you're holding in your hand he'd get really angry if his uh, drinking time was interrupted didn't he see and there's nothing wrong there's nothing wrong with drinking y'all like i i hate when people like I, I guess for some people it's wrong because after one drink then they'll act belligerent for me i'll get belligerent but i would have to be plastered bro you feel me? You got to know how to just control it. Control the drinking. And it could be anything else you do. Everything is a balance. There's nothing wrong with coming home from work and having a glass of wine or some beer. Or if you need a shot of tequila. As long as it's not 10 shots of tequila before bed, you good. You feel me? Like, that's just what I said. It'll be okay. Like. I remember everything. Every moment. But he used to scare me. I hated being in the same room with him. And I hated him. I hated him so much. I know. I know. It wasn't your fault. Hmm? Huh? But what's happening to your family now is, and if you don't change your ways, you're going to be doomed to repeat the cycle. What happened to you? He got into a fight at school. He got suspended for a week. I don't know what's gotten into him. I got him good, Dad. I wasn't a wussy. That's nothing to be proud of. You get into your room right now, young man. You are grounded. Come on, let's go. He just wants to see his dad happy for him. He wants his dad to be proud of him. He wants love from his dad. <laughs> <laughs> Why is everyone so quiet? <laughs> hey, Beanie, how was your day, man? Great, actually. I made the basketball team. What? That's awesome! I'm proud of you, bud. <laughs> I'm gonna squeeze on in here. <laughs> Well, it was a good eye-opener for him. He needed that eye-opener. For real, for real. For me, I like... I, I, I've had several eye-openers, like, going through my adulthood, no cap. But as long as you learn from them, man. As long as you learn from them. That's all you can do. Hey, man. If you made it to the end, I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Smash the like button. Leave a comment down below. And click that bell while you're at it. Till next time. I'm going to see you next time. I'm out.